2020, it's been a wild year. It's been a year full of a pandemic, protests, political divides. Sometimes it's nice to get away from what is currently happening. So today, we're gonna take a trip to Wallace, Idaho. So, the reason we are going to Wallace, Idaho is to check out the Pulaski Hiking Trail. Now, the Pulaski Hiking Trail has a ton of historical significance, and so does the city of Wallace, Idaho. The city of Wallace, Idaho was established back in 1884, and it is a part of the Silver Valley Mining District. This district produces a ton of silver, and back in the 1970s, it produced half of our nation's silver. The city of Wallace, of course, is known for its rich mining history, and local tours can gain you access to certain mines. Wallace has been known for its work hard and play hard attitude. Drinking, gambling, and decriminalized prostitution took place within the city. The city even used to house a brothel, home to the oldest profession, it ran all the way up to the 1990s. So the Pulaski Trail is named after Big Ed Pulaski, and in 1910, fires were burning up the Pacific Northwest. These fires burned 3 million acres of forest and killed 87 people. Now, most of these people who lost their lives were firefighters. Big Ed Pulaski was a forest ranger based in Wallace, Idaho, and back in 1910, the fires began to consume Wallace, Idaho and surrounding areas. Ed, he was in charge of a crew of firefighters who became overwhelmed with the fire's intensity. Ed, who was familiar with the area, led the firefighters to an abandoned mine. While in the mine, Ed held the firefighters down by gunpoint using a pistol, and he threatened to shoot anyone who tried to leave the mine. And Pulaski had the firefighters hang up wet blankets at the entrance to the mine, and this was to prevent the smoke and fire from severely hurting the men. Several blankets had to be replaced due to the fire's intensity. After the fires died down, however, 39 of the 45 firefighters survived, however, thanks to Big Ed Pulaski. 